Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, okay? Hope you're all doing fine and good. So today's video, as you guys can tell, is going to be a Kylie Jenner inspired look. And if you're watching this video for the first time, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate that. And yeah, let's just get right into this vampy, dark, Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look. Hope you guys are safe and blessed and happy new month. Bye bye. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my MAC Soft Ochre. I'm going to apply that to my entire lid as my base. And I'm going to go in with my orange shadow from Sleek. And I'm going to use that as my transition color. I'm going to use this jumbo pencil from NYX, it's called Eye Smoker and I'm going to put that to hold on to the eyeshadow I used which was my Fenty Decay eyeshadow and I'm going to be keeping Y DK and Midnight Cowboy and I'm going to go with my La Roque shadow and I'm going to be using Deep Purple and Espresso for my outer V and I'm going with the black from the La Roque as well and I'm going to deepen or darken that shadow as well you know, now I'm going to go back with that orange shadow from Sleek as well and I'm going to blend that all in. Now I'm going to go back to my Zarok palette and I'm going to be using Cornet and I'm going to put that underneath my eyes. And I'm going to use my concealer as a base for my waterline and on top of that I'm going to be using cream from my Laura palette to hold it down yeah now so I'm gonna wipe off the excess fallout and all that and I'm going to be using my eyeliner I'm using this one from this one's from eBay leggings whichever way you like my top and bottom lashes are from AliExpress in case you guys are wondering I'm just using this palette, this concealer palette. I'm going to use that to conceal my entire dark spot. And I'm going to go on top of that with my foundation to cover that all up. I'm going to go in with the same palette and use the darkest shadow for my contouring. I'm going to put that on my forehead, underneath my chin, because I have that underneath chin, whatever they call it. My that face is fat. And I'm going to contour my nose as, hard, as I have a fat nose as well. You know, we got to make it look like we got some nice nose. Now I'm going to go in with my LA Girl concealer in Toffee. And I'm going to highlight my face with that. I'm going to blend it in with this um, Beauty Blender stick that I got from AliExpress. I've been seeing this all over AliExpress. It's so weird that I've never seen any beauty gurus use this, but I actually do like and enjoy using it. And obviously before using it, you want to damp it with whatever damping thing you have. I damped it with my Fix Plus. And I'm going to go over my, I use my brush and just blend everything in together. I'm going to go with Banana, Benign Banana. <laughs> and just highlight my face this is actually the first time I've been using banana and it was nice anyways but I just felt like it was too ashy on me it was too cool on me but anyways I used my banana Moroccan and Adobe to set my contour and I'm blending all that together and yeah I used my um, I went back with my topaz to give me more warmth to bring back my yellow undertone as I felt my face was too cool and I blend that in all over my face. Now I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the first time I'm using this and I love it.
And I'm gonna go over it with my powder brush just to reduce the highlight because it was too much. And I'm gonna be using my sleek brush. The orange shade I'm going to apply that to on my on my cheeks and I'm going to use my fix plus by MAC to you know remove that cakiness so for my lipstick I'm going to be using color drain truffle rain as well as LA splash lip cutter in untamed I love those two combos and I also use 2am by color drain to darken the lips and that's all for the finished look for the makeup part now time for the hair i'm going to be using this wand that i got from aliexpress that i absolutely love i think it's about four wands or five four or five barrels but it doesn't matter because it works fine and perfectly if you guys want the link to it i'll put the link down in the description box to so check if you're interested in this one and i'm using the biggest barrel in there i was just randomly curling my hair Or mold the hair to the way you would like your hair to look. I'm going for the messy curly hair, so that's what I went for. And yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope it was helpful to you. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.